You can see them in every Canadian neighborhood. Kids with their noses up against the glass, peering out at a world they no longer understand, wondering what happened to their lives. Parks and playgrounds are closed. The news is all about frightening stories of a mysterious virus and all the sick and dying people. And as Jeff Semple explains, children have lots and lots of questions. There you are. Ah, uh, nice to see you. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Yeah. Like a lot of kids, Brianna and Bryson have been stuck at home for weeks, finding creative ways to pass the time. We've been painting, painting rocks. We got some right here. That's cool. Hold them up. Let me see. Those look great. How does it feel being at home for so long? I'm missing grandma. They're growing bored and a bit worried about this virus everyone's talking about. They've asked a lot of questions and we've talked about we it. We know about that, the coronavirus. Child psychologists say that's important. Especially school-aged children uh, do understand uh, the severity of what is going on. I mean, their life has completely uh, shifted. Can they get oh, how long has, has new virus or has Global News asked kids to send us their top COVID-19 questions. Bryson wanted to know about his grandma. My question was, why can't I have my grandma anymore? So we put his question and others to the experts. If you were to hug your grandma or kiss your grandma or get too close to your grandma, you might be passing on the virus to her. And we know that people, especially grandmas and grandpas, usually get a lot sicker than maybe young people do. In fact, most young people who've gotten the virus have done a great job fighting it. How did COVID-19 start? Experts aren't actually sure, but they think the virus started in a bat in China. Occasionally, the viruses can pass from a bat to another animal, uh, perhaps through a bite or some secretions from the uh, nose of the bat. And then sometimes that animal will pass the virus to humans. My question is, can COVID-19 go on other planets and is COVID-19 on a hairbrush? It's certainly possible. If you were to cough into your hand and then touch your hairbrush, the virus could pass from your hands to the hairbrush. As for other planets, experts don't think COVID-19 could survive in space. But some coronaviruses can live in freezing temperatures for up to two years. Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm five. And how long would the germs last? COVID-19's germs can survive on some surfaces, like a plastic toy, for up to three days. The virus doesn't jump, so it doesn't go from a toy into your nose. The only way it can get there is if you touch it and then touch your mouth and nose. What's your name? Foster, how many minutes are we going to be home and how long can we go to our friend's house and grandma's house again? Unfortunately, experts say it's not a matter of minutes, but weeks. I do think that these uh, physical distancing measures are going to last for at least another six to eight weeks, if not longer. Hi, Granny. But then, if everyone does their part, Bryson and his sister will get to visit Grandma again very soon.